Hello and welcome to the uh, week 4 of medical image analysis course. In this week, we will talk about non-registration techniques. Specifically, we are going to look at two algorithms, uh, very highly cited and popular algorithms for uh, non-rigid image registration. Um, and, and there are several free implementations of these available. Um, we will talk about them in the following week, that is week 5. So in many applications, the transformations that we use for uh, registering two images from the same patient even, um, they cannot be approximated by rigid transformations or not even affine transformations. Uh, this is because the anatomies might deform and between imaging sessions and, um, and that might also be because of the patient's pose. So for instance, in some applications, the patient lies in the bed for a prolonged period of time and images are acquired over a particular anatomical uh, location. Um, but even in that, uh, in that situation, because of respiratory motion, uh, there could be some deformations which cannot be approximated by rigid body uh, transformations, right? And then there are other uh, applications wherein, you know, the patient is uh, followed over a period, long period, longer period of time. He has multiple imaging sessions. And even those sessions, he might not, uh, he or she might not adopt the same pose. There is, of course, going to be deformation of our various organs. So, if rigidity cannot be assumed, then the most, um, what do you call, general uh, non-rigid registration transformation is basically the estimation of a deformation field or a displacement field. So this is nothing but the uh, uh, estimation of a displacement, which is a vector, because you need to have components in the x, y, and z directions, a small displacement for every pixel in the image, or in some cases, a uh, control points, uh, there is a, a bunch of pixels which you choose as control points, you estimate at least the displacement for those pixels. Okay. The problem with this approach is that, you know, um, if, if you consider any grid, let's say even a 2D grid, and if you are trying to estimate a uh, displacement vector for every pixel in the grid, you know, if for every pixel can move in almost any direction, right? So there is no constraint there. And uh, so uh, that, that means that the problem becomes that much harder to do. So they, then to limit the search space, to make it, to make it uh, you know, doable, then you typically have a constraint or a regularization that is imposed on the deformation field or the displacement field. Okay. So a lot of the algorithms differ on how the displacement fields are regularized and in some cases even how the displacement fields are estimated. So we'll, we are actually going to look at two different algorithms which estimate the deformation fields slightly differently. Okay, so this is where you know um, this is the general uh, approach to non-rigid registration. So there has to be an estimation step of the deformation fields, and followed by a regularization over the uh, over the estimated fields because uh, then you know so that you can actually uh, limit the search space. So um, once again, so when in, in many problems um, the the, uh, the loss function is regularized so as to obtain you know, a displacement field which is which is already, you know, smooth and constrained and all that. In some cases, you know, because the algorithm itself, the way it's done is that once you estimate the displacement fields, you can regularize them. So we're going to look at two different method, methods which do that, which what I, what I just described in this week. Um, but just to um, reiterate, you know, this is evidently a very difficult problem and there are lots of issues here still. Um, and in, and, in, and in general, you know, you would do non-rigid registration um, following a rigid registration, right? So you would actually do a rigid registration to bring two uh, images close enough and then you would do the non-rigid registration following that. So that, you know, these uh, displacement fields that you estimate as part of the non-rigid registration algorithm, uh, they basically the displacement fields are, are the uh, transformation vectors, right? And um, they, they can only be very small. So you can't, so if you do very large deformations per pixel, you would end up doing something unphysical. And you know, for instance, you know, you know, uh, breaking the image into two, etc. Those are not allowed transformations. So typically these displacement field estimates, they only work for very small displacements. Uh, you know, small in comparison to the organ of interest, you know, and, and in general what could be, you know, uh, feasible displacements that problem allows. So in the next few videos, we will look at two different algorithms to talk about, you know, how to estimate them. So uh, in these um, two papers, you know, typically there is also usually a moving image 
and a fixed image the notations might differ slightly but uh, typically they are either uh, denoted by a or a or b for instance something like this a comma b oh, i think i used a very large uh, thing so it's either a b or in some cases f and g okay f and g is more commonly used i think but anyway so these are pairs of images one you would consider as the moving image typically g and uh, the other one you would consider as the fixed image and all of them can be uh treated as either 2d or 3d images in fact both techniques we are going to see work on 3d images as well we will look at the results and you know demos of these algorithms the next week so this is where i promised week 5 is where we look at some of these case studies so we we'll look at these case studies where we'll get this demo i'll try to provide you some a uh, freeware that is available to actually try out these uh, algorithms okay so um, so we will now look at the um, uh, two uh, the uh, therian's demons algorithms and the free form deformations algorithms in the next uh, couple of videos thank you